if you're like me, your code for your edit view is an exact copy of your code for your new view. And um, that's great. That's uh, reusable in, in a certain extent, but it's, uh, uh, we, we can do better in that. And so I'm going to refactor it in, in two ways in this episode. The first thing I'm going to do is I want a, a more custom label than, than submit. And I want that because when you're creating a user, you want to do something a little bit different than when you edit a user. So let's go ahead and edit our uh, tests that do that. And there are a bunch of um, submits all over the place here. And so the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to refactor this. I, I'm going to create a nice little um, variable that stands for submit and I am just going to right now use the same text. You know, good refactoring, we change it and make sure that we don't do too much at any one time. Um, so here now instead of using the submit text I can use the submit keyword and we will do this throughout the <coughs> code and this is now with the update and so we're going to do something similar here uh, let's just do it down here and the reason why I'm doing a separate one here of course is because we want to have two different texts but for right now we're going to use the same thing All right, so now we have it for both creating our user and editing our user. And so now we're ready to verify that making those changes didn't mess up our tests somehow. So we're going to, to run our tests to make sure that they, they still run properly. And they still should because we didn't change any functionality. And so now they are turning and we should start seeing green throughout the board and that's exactly what we expect so now let's actually encode a change in behavior so here in our creating user what we want is the text create new user and in our editing user let's say we want to say something like update user profile. Okay, so these are much more customized. And now when we run our tests, we expect a number of failures because it's looking for a submit button with text that no longer exists. So uh, as we run these, we see quite a few errors, uh, 13 specifically right here, uh, but we're not surprised. So let's go ahead and try to fix these up here. So let's edit our views and we can uh, change our, our new view first. And I already have forgotten what this is supposed to be. So let's look in the text right here. Create new user. And we should be able to run our tests now. And it should drop that back down for all of our creates and now it should only be our edits that have problems and so that yeah, we now see we're down to eight failures so let's go ahead and edit our edit and we can change this to be again this look update user profile And so now we, our expectation is that this, this works exactly as it did before, but now we've got nicer buttons. And so we have made a small refactor here that's going to make it a little bit more usable.
didn't change the functionality at all. And what we're going to do in the next video is try to combine as much as possible these two views um, with the exception of course of these new updated labels that we just made.